What's going on guys, Jaycoon Prime here with another Terminator Resistance video. Now I made a reaction trailer to this not too long ago because apparently none of us knew that this game was coming and I assumed that it was going to be, you know, like a little tie-in throwaway game for Terminator Dark Fate which actually released over the weekend. But turns out I was actually very, very wrong about this. Now it's probably going to be tied to Dark Fate in some fashion. But this game has a very, very weird release schedule. Um, it's actually one of those games that America is actually having to wait on, and then Europe is actually getting it before we do. Now, this could actually wind up being very bad, but it could also wind up working out very well in our favor, giving it that extra time to cook in the oven before America gets it, and maybe we wind up getting the better product. But outside of like one or two trailers that has been released for this game, there hasn't been a lot of gameplay footage of it until today. So, I found like this nice, good chunk of gameplay. It's about 10 minutes worth that I'm going to check out here. I'm going to deep dive on it, analyze what I'm seeing, see what the gameplay is going to kind of be like. And um, from what I've been seeing and like little snippet trailers obviously it's going to be a first person shooter but they're also talking about there being rpg elements in the game choices that you're going to have to make that will affect the outcome of the gameplay and i'm like oh okay so we're probably going to get a little fallout vibe to this we're going to get a little dead island vibe to this which i absolutely love dead island so if you want to put game mechanics from dead island in the game by all means go ahead so let's take a look at this video here and see what we're in store for and hopefully it'll make us more excited for when the game releases. Uh, Europe gets the game November 16th, November 15th, something like that. But here in the US we're not getting it until like December 10th. So I'm not going to lie, I'm okay with that honestly because we have two giant AAA titles getting ready to drop literally a week apart from each other with Death Stranding and then Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. So, this is about Terminator though, so let's focus on that. Come on, come on. Where are the others? Where's the rest of the Resistance? Uh, I don't know. I mean, the game looks good so far. Like, visually, it looks very good. Okay, so why the T-800 didn't just grab and shoot him like he did the last guy? I'm through. This is Private Jacob. I know him. Alright, so with how clean this is looking... Okay, yeah, the, the prompt just showed us. This is running on the PC version of the game. Which is fine. I was probably going to get the PC version of this game anyway. So a lot of running so far. Okay, he's got a gun. Loot the remains of fallen enemies. Okay, so here's where the RPG elements are going to start coming in. Looting kills in order to get resources for stuff you can build later. Yeah, definitely getting a fall out -y, dead island -y vibe to this. I like it. And he's clearly shooting, like, a bullet. 
weapon, so I'm guessing like. What's there? Hello? I'll wait till they finish talking. I'm assuming like ballistic weaponry that uses bullets is gonna be okay for like smaller enemies, but when you start going up against the Terminators themselves, you're gonna need plasma weaponry. We can't stay here. Who's there? Oh, thank God. You're from the resistance. See, Patrick? He's going to help us. No, they're going to get us. Please, you need to help me. My little brother, he just won't listen. I'm not going. Leave me alone. I said leave me alone. Primo voice acting right there. Your choices matter. Okay, so what you say or not say to NPCs in the game can affect the outcome. Okay. Thank you. I'm Jennifer, by the way. I've heard there's an evacuation point near here. Yeah, I know. My people are organizing it. We're heading there right now. I'll take us there. Come on, let's go. Where's the rest of the resistance? I don't know. I came here looking for them myself. So it's just you then. This way. But Pasadena was safe. It was, until all the soldiers were pulled out from the area. Through here. Terminators, get down, get down. The lighting effects on the fire look good. Kitty, Daddy is recording the video. Please stop. No. No. Ah, no. Just let me think. All right, so I'm guessing that big Jennifer, bassy music God is going to play every time oh, the Terminator is around. The resistance. Thank you for making sure that Jennifer and Patrick got here safe. Are you the guy I spoke to on the radio? Nah, I don't think so. I haven't been able to reach anybody for a while now, but listen. I've been looking for my partner, Riggs. I Have you seen him? He's crazy. <laughs> Jennifer just got here. And you said yourself that you heard someone on the radio. There could be other people out there. Don't you think somebody should go and look for him? I mean, you're from the resistance. It's your call. Yeah, but I'm just a peon. Alright, your call. We should leave. I'll search for survivors. Your I'll choices for matter. Survivors. Good, I'll get the bus ready. Before you go, talk to Erin. She might be able to get you a med kit. Oh, oh, and take this. You probably need it. So I'm wondering if there's going to be some type of morale system in the game if your choices matter. Like, if you do a lot of positive choice making throughout the game, is it going to be possible that more people are going to rally behind you, more people are going to be prone to fight by your side when you're around? Uh, because, like, you inspire courage into them or something along those lines. Or if, like, you keep making asshole choices, then people are more likely to abandon you. They're not willing to follow you. Uh, they're not willing to fight with you. All that different type of stuff. I really hope they put in some type of morale system to where not only do the choices matter, but the choices will affect how the people around you react. Like, I think that would be really cool. Anyone there? No one's here. Trade resources, huh? Alright, so we're gonna have some type of vendor system, I'm guessing. And now, instead of a handgun, he's got an Uzi. Alright, so the bullet weapons are not going to be completely and totally useless. But I am guessing that the moment you start rolling up against Terminators themselves, and not just the machines, the, the bullet-based weapons are going to wind up being pretty useless.
and whoever is running this gameplay demo cannot aim for shit. <laughs> <coughs> Cannot aim to save his life. My god. Just take it. Take it all. Take everything. Alright, so, alright, up there on what he just looted, Skynet. So we're still dealing with Skynet. I'm going to go ahead and leave my thought on that to myself. Just in case you guys haven't watched my uh, Terminator Dark Fate review video yet, I don't want to spoil here? anything for you. So the whole Skynet thing I'm going to keep to myself. Alright, so we're almost done with the demo. Are we going to see us go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Terminator? Anyone in here? All right, maybe we're gonna see it right here. There's less than a minute left. Please show a Terminator. I see plasma fire, so I guess a T-800... Man! <laughs> Damn it. Well, what we saw looked very good. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely say that. The, the, the voice acting was not the best. But then again, I didn't really expect it to be, like, top-notch voice acting. Because I'm pretty sure this is not a full $60 game, uh, although I could wind up being wrong on that. I, I don't know. But I do feel like I remember seeing the price tag on it, and it was only going to be like 30 or 40 bucks. So, I mean, for a budget title, that looks good. That looks very, very good, and who knows, it may wind up being a diamond in the rough. And um, actually wind up being... I mean, I, I really don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, but can can we be fair for a moment and say that pretty much every Terminator game that's ever been released has not been that great? Um, pretty much all the old school Terminator games, with the exception of Terminator on Sega CD, was not very good. Uh, Terminator the arcade game was decent at best. Uh, Dark Fate was alright, uh, any game based off Terminator 3 was crap, and Terminator Salvation was crap. So, here's, here's hoping, fingers crossed here, that we, we finally get a good Terminator game with Terminator Resistance. But let me know what you think about the Terminator Resistance down in the comments below. Are you looking forward to it, or are you just expecting another shit show like we have seen in the past with every game with... Terminator in the title. But, that's going to wrap things up for me. If you could leave a like rating on the video, I'd greatly appreciate it. And hit that subscribe button if you're new and tap the bell. That way you always know when I go live with a brand new video for you guys to watch. And if you want to see Terminator Resistance played live when it drops, be sure to head over to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Prime where you're going to see every single shred of the action from start to finish. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one.